Hey guys, it's me Lorenzo, and welcome back to another video. Today, as it's been highly requested, I'm doing a video on how I record. So guys, as you can probably tell, I use Streamlabs OBS to record my videos, and I also sometimes use OBS because I just fixed it. It wasn't working before, and now I use some settings that I'll be showing you today to fix it. So in Streamlabs OBS, there's a few less settings than in normal OBS, so I might do a tutorial on that too, but uh, I use Streamlabs OBS to record as well. But I recommend putting the settings on OBS first and then hitting import from OBS. That way you don't have to do it backwards if you want to have the settings on both. At the end of the video, I want to show you guys uh, on OBS what the settings will look like as well. So that if you don't have Streamlabs OBS or you don't want it, you can just go there. So first thing I do is have disable hardware acceleration and you're going to have to restart after you do that. Um, now, I, these the general settings are really just um, preference. Uh, I just have, th these are my settings for general. So you want to make sure you have output mode on advanced. Make the type standard. Recording path, this is wherever you're going to put your, your the files. And uh, I just put it here, it's my special hard drive. I put a recording format on MP4 because uh, I don't like the other ones. I put it on generate file name without space so that I can just see it and make sure it's working. Audio tracks, I really use two. I just have three checked for some reason. And recording, I use the hardware NVENC new, but there's also just NVENC, ha hardware NVENC. But you can also use a AMD processor, whatever graphics card you have. And if not, I think it's like, it's, it's really just you want to have a good graphics card, or at least a decent one, because I have the 1050 Ti and it records good. You don't need any custom muxer settings, muxer, I don't know. Uh, bitrate control has to be CBR, and then the bitrate for me right now is 30,000. My preset is on quality, my profile on high, B frames on two. Audio is basically just a preference. Make sure that you have your microphone right here and mic auxiliary device one, and the rest can be either disabled or default. This you want to have default. And sample rate can be whatever you want. Video, I just have mine at 1920 by 1080 p because I just like it like that. But if you have a bad computer, you can scale this down. And I put my downscale filter on Lanxos uh, because I'm recording on the Switch and it's not as demanding. Like, I, on if I was recording any other game, really, I would, I would change my settings. But recording on Switch, uh, these are good settings. Now you want common FPS values and put them on 60. Now in gen in advanced, uh, I put my process process priority on high. But you might want to leave it on above normal or just normal. Now video, this is really just what I like to see. You, know, you can these are also preference uh, for a GPU as render device. Now audio, put my speakers, blah blah blah. I think this is all unimportant here. Now the stuff that's extremely important. And by the way, I'm sorry if it's a little bit laggy. It's because I, I'm not able to record with my other OBS right now to record this because it lags too much. I'm hoping this isn't, but it might be. Now you have to make yourself a video capture device. And uh, once you have that, like if I undo that, if I click here, you'll only be able to see this. So I can't really do that right now. So what you really want is go to the properties this is important because it won't work unless you do this. So go to properties and make sure you go to Elgato Game Capture HD instead of any of these others because if you go to this one it won't work as well. And then your your monitor will flicker a bit and once it stops it, you'll know that it's working. Now I, I have my resolution on 1920 by 1080 like before. FPS, I need to put it on highest FPS. Video format any, color space 709, color range full, buffering, I put it on disable, but you might need to have, it, put it on auto detect if you have something that might need buffering. And the most important setting out of all of these, if you don't get anything from this, get this. Output desktop audio, wave out. Make sure you put it on wave out because if you don't, you won't hear anything like you. And it'll be delayed too much, but it's only delayed right now because it's lagging. And once you've done that, 
it's actually completely done. And um, right here, guys, is just a few pictures of uh, what the OBS settings look like because I know someone wants to see that. If they really, the, like, if you really tried, you can just look at the Streamlabs OBS ones and you will be able to, like, do the same settings because they have the exact same ones I checked earlier. Um, but if you really want their pictures on screen, if you guys enjoyed this video, like and subscribe so that I can show you guys even more content just like this and let me know that you want more. And if we get 10 likes on this video, uh, I'll do a video on how to record separate audio tracks, which is pretty cool. I just figured out how to do that a few weeks ago. Well, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.